and we are calling it iPhone. The world we live in is falling apart, but not in the way that you think. Is it just me, or does it feel like the world's been moving way too fast lately? It's come to a point where we can eat anything we want, watch anything we want, buy anything we want, go anywhere we want, or all to an extent, at the touch of a button or the swipe of a card. We can have anything and everything all, all of, of the, the time. time. And we don't even need to leave our house anymore. And it's all because of this, and the internet. And it's killing me, and I'm sure it's killing you too. Don't get me wrong though, the internet is great, the idea of social media is great, it's made it a lot more easier to communicate with people and the internet has just made a l everything a lot easier. But sometimes does it feel like a bit too much? Now with virtual reality vastly approaching, we will be even more immersed in a noisier, flashier world. Whether you like it or not, we are in an age of distraction. We have the distraction in our hands at all times. Hi, uh, okay. Can, can I can I get your Instagram? I guess so. Yeah, and then um, I reckon because we got the uh, group project, we'll we'll do it tomorrow. If you, if you if you can go if you can go tomorrow. Uh, Endless options, infinite content, never-ending information. It seems that the world doesn't slow down. If we stop for one minute, then we miss the news, or the latest trend, or the hot gossip. And it's killing us. It's genuinely killing us. It's deteriorating our mental health. According to this study done in 2018, social media and news consumption can lead to depression, anxiety, and self-deletion thoughts. It's ruining our physical health as well. As more people are staying inside, people are lacking physical exercise, vitamin D, and it can even reduce the quality of your sleep. Yeah, yeah you got the job. This is way bigger than we think. It could turn into a Wally situation. In a world that never stops moving, when is there ever time for us to rest? What we need is a moment away from the chaos. Maybe what we need right now is stillness.
You know, my man Ryan Holiday already knew what was up when he wrote this book. I mean, the title says it all. The call to stillness comes quietly. The modern world does not. The modern world does, in addition to the clatter and chatter and the intrigue and infighting that would be similar to the citizens of Seneca's time. We have car horns, stereos, cell phone alarms, social media notifications, chainsaws, airplanes. Our personal and professional problems are equally overwhelming. Competitors muscle into our industry, our desks pile high with papers and our inboxes overflow with messages. We are always reachable, which means that arguments and updates are never far away. The news bombards us with one crisis after another on every screen we own, of which there are many. The grind of work wears us down and seems to never stop. We are overfed and undernourished, overstimulated, overscheduled and lonely. Who has the power to stop? Who has time to think? Is there anyone not affected by the din and dysfunctions of our time?